What's up, heathens? It's your boy Jay, aka Pumpkinhead, coming at you today. Me and the boy here, we're going on a little overnight. Um, hopefully, up here at the lake. If not, I have a backup plan. And sorry for the uh, delay in videos, guys. Life happened, and that's just the way it goes sometimes. So, we're uh, headed up here. We're going to do an overnight camp out. And I'm going to show you guys how to cook on a propane fire pit. So right now me and the boy are going to find a spot to camp for the evening. And we're going to uh, enjoy the night. I have to work tomorrow night. So I only get one night out here. And uh, let's go get to it. Spot number one was a no-go. So spot number two is definitely a go. And we're gonna go ahead and take a walk down here and show you around a bit. Hi Grizzly, are you excited buddy? Uh -huh. So this is a trail that leads down to the lake here. We're just gonna follow it down and see where it goes. And we're doing all this before we get camp set up. So uh, it's a beautiful day. Got a little bit of a late start, but uh, all in all, it went okay. The first place didn't pan out. This is the second place and uh, it's a pretty one. So we're camped out right here on the south end of the um, Darina Lake here outside of Cottage Grove. And whoa, yeah, okay. Pretty cool. It'll lead you right down to the water. But look at this lake. This is the inlet from the Rau River coming all the way from up there. And uh, comes out here to Darina Reservoir. It's a beautiful little Oregon Lake. But yeah, it looks pretty uh, pretty deep right here. And looks like people come down here and jump off these rocks. So yeah, looks amazing. Really? Really? <laughs> come here, buddy. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Yeah, having fun. Uh, today we are going to be making hobo packs for dinner and we got snacks and all that kind of good stuff but for right now we're just gonna kind of enjoy the place all right guys well we decided to uh, come down here and enjoy the sunset on the beautiful mountains here crack them at home if you got them this place is beautiful you got uh, you got the mountain ranges. You've got uh, all this tall grass right here, and the lake just over there. You got a fine stick. You brought down a fine stick. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, buddy. <sighs> and so it begins. <laughs> you want me to throw that? That's what you want. This right here. You can't bring Papa a better stick. This is all you got? <laughs> yeah. 
This is all you brought, Papa. This right here. That's what you want. Ready? Get it, buddy. He did the happy, happy guy. He did the happy, happy, happy guy. And you chewed it up completely. So what am I supposed to do now? You got to go get another stick. Go get another stick. He'll bring me one in just a second. <laughs> I want to thank you for uh, subscribing to the channel. And if you guys really like camping videos and fishing videos and, uh, you know, crabbing videos, stuff like that. Make sure you hit that little uh, button down there in the corner so you can see more of that. And uh, you can see a lot more beautiful Oregon, especially the coastal mountain range, because that's where I live. Um, oh, 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 you brought me one. You brought one. Well, you got to let it go. <laughs> this will happen all night long. So on today's video, um, I've decided that I'm going to... Uh, cook over a propane fire pit i've never done it they say you're not supposed to do it but i figure as long as your uh liquids and juices and drippings don't get down inside the heating element there um it should be okay so what i'm going to do tonight when it gets a little bit darker i'm going to go up there and uh bushcraft us a fire and cook a hobo pack and i got some uh some really good stuff to go inside this little hobo pack I'm gonna be uh, wrapping that in tin foil and putting that on top of the uh, on top of the coals that are in the fire pit, and we're gonna see how that turns out. It's a fire ban in Oregon, so you can't have an open fire or wood fire or charcoal. So I uh, I got a propane fire ring, and I anticipate that I can hang my Dutch oven as soon as I get one on a tripod over the flames of this and be able to cook in a dutch oven over it for my uh, camping adventure so that ought to be cool i do have propane cook stoves and all that but i wanted to try this out see if it'll actually work we're gonna sit down here and enjoy this sunset and uh, as soon as it gets dark we'll head up to the truck and uh, set up camp this little spot here is just a pull off off the side of the road out here and uh you can find all sorts of little beautiful spots like this along the lakes and uh, places to come down and fish and, and camp and hang out. So you'll be seeing a lot more of these. So I hope you guys stick around, enjoy this sunset with me, and uh, we'll go up and do some dinner. got this guy here on Amazon. Normal price is $119. I'm a Prime member and I got it for way less than that. Brand new, never used. It even comes with a little ring right here that you put on the bottom of your uh, 20 pound propane cylinder to help stabilize it. But I don't need that because I carry my 20 pound propane in a uh, milk crate and that stabilizes it just fine i didn't pop the canopy up don't need it i'm only here for a night no rain in the forecast it comes with these bags of uh lava rocks so we're gonna go ahead and add those to the mix i will tell you not to rough these up too bad they're pretty brittle but uh, from what I hear, they will hold a little bit of heat and uh, help me cook.
these guys are super light these rocks so i mean there's really no weight to them at all doesn't even feel like lava rock so weird so i don't have any links for this this is the flame king uh propane fire pit you can get on amazon and i'm not paid by anybody for advertisement i am uh purchasing purchasing this with my own money and they're not paying me to say anything about their product i will say this that the rock the lava rock you get in here breaks apart really easily and gets really dusty so you're gonna have some dust in here but i've got a solution for that so i don't have to carry this in my truck anymore good boy good boy oh, i know i know there you go get up there what are you doing buddy huh oh you look spooky oh he's trying to make himself a bed get comfy all right so I'm hooking this up for the very first time to show you guys that you can cook on these. Now, like I mentioned before, you don't want anything dripping down in here. So that's why I chose to do a, uh, a tin foil hobo pack. Um, that way, nothing drips out of it onto your uh, your flame element down here at the bottom of this pit. It comes with a regulator and a hose. This is probably about a eight foot hose. Screws right onto your barbecue tank. Open up your tank. And this will be set aside. Preferably away from the pit. This fire pit has an igniter built into it. Let's see if we can turn it on real quick. Now, I'm not going to turn it on high. I don't want to be burning my sheet on my bed or nothing. So, uh, that's a striker button right there. For those of you who have never operated one of these propane pits, um, you'll see right here is a little lightning bolt on your dial um, that is basically your striker so I've never started one of these myself there's a little button right here to tell you where it's at oh I can hear the propane already going through and that's it look at that guys <laughs> I like it pretty cool so the best part about a propane firing here is uh when you're ready to leave camp and go down and do some swimming or something nobody has to stay back and sorry we got cars driving by nobody has to stay back and babysit the fire you can just turn it off and this is gonna be full max so here we go That's max flame right there. And I will tell you, that's actually putting off some heat. So I'm going to turn that down. I'm going to set this guy down here on the ground, away from the propane tank. And there we go. You have a uh, portable firing that you uh, don't have to really worry about. What's also additionally cool about this uh, little doodad here, it comes with a lid that you can uh, put over the top of it when you're done. One thing I thought about doing is flipping it upside down and cooking on it. But I don't want all this black paint right here to be cooking into the food. So we'll have to do that on another day. But uh, it's pretty cool. Comes with a little lid and your uh, propane tank stabilizer. And right now with a fire ban, this is your only option to get any sort of heat or you know fire 
when you're out here uh, in the woods. So I'm gonna finish setting up my lights right here. Uh, $20 on Amazon. And uh, I'm gonna set up so I have a little light down here to uh, Mise en Place, what I'm having for dinner. This little guy here uh, puts off quite a bit of warmth. So if you're cold out camping and you need to warm up a bit, but you can't have a fire, I recommend one of these guys. They are pretty cool, I must say. <laughs> I didn't even see this before, but it says no fires and no camping right here at the spot where I have a fire and I'm camping. All right, ladies and germs. This is what we're having for dinner tonight. I've got uh, the fire going. Grizzly's up here scratching himself to death in the truck. I have a solution for that. Right here. And that is um, coconut oil. So I'm going to be taking some of this and rubbing him down with that. So he doesn't get so itchy, itchy. But in the meantime, I have got the makings of a beautiful, wonderful hobo pack. So let's get to... Uh, making this. I have got a poblano pepper, one squash, one sweet potato, avocado, ground beef chuck, and a uh, onion soup mix. So let me show you how all this goes together. All right, with a uh, clean cutting board, we'll uh, cut the plastic off of that guy. All right. This goes into our handy dandy trash bag we have set aside here. We keep everything uh, nice and neat in there. All right, so before I get my hands all greasy and hamburgery, we'll take one of these packets, because it comes with two. So we'll take one of these packets of onion soup mix. Oh, you smell that already, buddy? You smell that ground beef? Huh? You smell that ground beef? Huh? You want some of that? You want some of that? Oh, that good stuff right there, buddy. Huh? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to take some of this. Probably about that much of that raw ground beef right there. And that is going to be for old Grizzly Bear and his dinner tonight. We'll keep that aside. With this here, add probably about uh, about half the packet. It doesn't come with too much. So about half the packet of onion soup mix on the board here. And we're just going to take and roll our beef all in that. Mix it up. Doesn't have to be too mixed, just enough to be thorough in the uh, process here. All right. I'm going to take that guy and we're going to make a big patty. <laughs> oh, I see you're hungry up there, buddy. Uh -huh. All right. So we've got a big beef patty stuffed with that onion soup mix. So some of the best things to keep handy when you're uh, working with raw meat, things of that sort, is some good old baby wipes. That's why I keep these in the truck. You never know when you're going to need them. Quite. You never know when you're gonna need to drink a beer either. So we're gonna get all this grease off my hands the best that I can here. 
And this is why it is also important to uh, keep a trash bag around. You don't want to be throwing this out on the ground. Because people like me have to come and clean it up. I'm drinking Keystone. You guys might not know this, but I am diabetic. And I've had my blood drawn several times since drinking the Light Keystone or Bush. And it has proved to not raise my blood sugars or spike me out at all. So I'm quite happy about that. So next we're going to pull out our three long sheets of tinfoil and your beef patty goes right in the center kind of elongate it almost like a meatloaf and we'll set that guy aside next we're going to prepare the uh poblano pepper here best way i found to do this is just cut around the rim like you would a bell pepper And then you can kind of just pop out all the seeds and everything with it. If you have some seeds in here, it's not a big deal. These poblanos aren't that hot, so we're good with that. And we're going to throw this to the forest critters. I know there's one forest critter out here that would enjoy munching on this guy. I don't know. So that goes off into the bushes. It's organic. So we're going to chop this guy down. Kind of like that. Basically the same thing as a bell pepper. About that size. That can go right over here on top of our uh, burger mix. Whoa, you guys okay? <laughs> kind of bumped you there. Oh, that smells nice. All right. Next, we're going to do our uh, sweet potato. Cut off that butt end. Like that. These go to the forest critters. That goes on top of your burger. This is a sweet potato. It's not like a regular standard russic or red skin potato or anything. So these guys take a while. I like to put them right on top of the, uh, I like to put them right on top of the hamburger. That way they could soak in all that good uh, beef grease and everything from the uh, hamburger here. Next in line, we have a squash. Chop the ends off. Woodland creatures. I don't mind throwing out stuff that they're going to eat. All right. Nice. Ooh, my tummy's growling. There we go. And last but not least, in the vegetable department. rolls away from me again we have onion I'm gonna go in quarters here and uh, there we go we've got a big mound of shit here <laughs> but we can't forget our final ingredient to this whole mess and that is some black pepper i love black pepper pepper up everything here that's a lot of fucking pepper okay so we got our pepper on there what we need to do now is uh well <laughs> it's a little bit melted i forgot to put this in the fridge um in the truck so we will work with what we got here we need butter right, and just put that all over the place never have too much butter when you're uh 
doing one of these packets. And this whole time I'm sitting here, guys, this little uh, propane fire pit is keeping me pretty warm. It's, uh, it's chilly out here for summertime in Oregon at night uh, where I live. I'm about 10 minutes from home. And uh, it is maybe 50 something right now in temperature. So just kind of roll this up. And this is where it takes a lot of uh, tin foil. Roll this up and cradle it. All right. Make it as tight as you can. Make it comfortable like a little baby. Hold this side up. There we go. Wrap that around. Now this thing, this one guys is huge. So it's gonna take a while to cook. So once you get everything like that, flip it over. And second sheet of tin foil. And you can roll it up like a burrito if you want. I'm gonna flip it over one more time and wrap it again. Roll in your sides on this last wrap. And there you go. And now you got a extremely large Kobo pack, and that's gonna take a while to cook. So I'm gonna put the uh, hamburger side down first. That way all that grease gets cooked up. And when I flip this, it'll all go into the vegetable. So we'll set that guy right on top, just like that. All right, guys, well, it's time to prepare Grizzly's dinner. I have a skillet here because I forgot his bowl at home. So he will have dinner like it's uh, people food. Oh, you smell it? Hmm? Can you smell it, boy? All right, so Grizzly, he gets to chill up here on the bed. Are you ready for Din Din? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, big plate of Din Din. Get it, buddy. So many of you guys don't know, but uh, Grizzly is a rescue. He, um was raised in a kennel and not let out for his young life, which is very sad, um, which is why you see he's a little bow-legged on the back end there. Hana rescued him, and he is the most well-mannered, best-minding dog that I've come across. Hello, Ka. Bye, car. And uh, he's just an all-out good boy. He loves to chase his sticks and his ball. And uh, matter of fact, we got some tennis balls for him to chase tomorrow. Yeah. So he's going to do his dinner, and I'm going to go ahead and flip uh, my dinner that's down here roasting on the fire. All right, guys. It's time to flip this bad boy. Now I have tongs. But in this case, some decent gloves are where it's at with leather, leather palms at least. So if you're cooking over one of these, like I am, gloves are key. All right. And that hamburger that was on the bottom has cooked on the bottom. So all that grease is running down into the uh, vegetables and stuff that I put in there. One thing I forgot to do, I forgot to add the other half of the packet of that onion soup mix to my vegetables like I was planning. 
oh well. So we're gonna keep flipping this guy until it's done and uh, enjoy our evening out here. You look a duck, huh? You enjoying the dinner? Well, Grizzly is done with his din-din. Was that good stuff? Was that good stuff, sir? <laughs> and this guy goes back up here. Put that in later. Hanna and I went up camping at uh, the uh, National Forest close to home here. And got a lot of video. Had a beautiful time. And my editing software crashed while I was editing that video. And uh, I guess I need to stop using the free apps. <laughs> so I've actually downloaded another um, editing application. That way I can produce videos when I need to, instead of the darn thing crashing on me. I uh, lost a lot of footage. So as I'm talking here, I'm probably going to be putting video of that camping trip that we had. It was a great time, beautiful place to go swimming, uh, beautiful place to hike all the undergrowth of the forest and the ferns and moss covered logs and rocks it was uh exactly what we needed in regards to that playing some video it was a great time but unfortunately my editing software really sucked so i'm making this video today and i hope you guys don't mind Love each and every one of you. And you guys are my people, my heathens, my core foundation. All right, guys, so I just pulled it off the fire. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this product here. It smells amazing in here so far. Oh, look at that. That is uh, what I call perfection. Let's check it out here. Oh yeah, those sweet potatoes are nice and soft. Look at that. Look at that. Super soft sweet potatoes. Of course, you know the uh, squash is going to be really good. There's our onions. Those are super cooked and uh, ready to go. And check out that uh, check out that patty, guys. Absolutely amazing. We have our poblano peppers in here, and uh, we're gonna let this cool a bit while I dress it up. Alright guys. All right, got a nice warm fire to eat by down here. And uh, let's go ahead and try one of these yams. Ooh, now I like it when they're uh, blackened on one side. Mmm. Oh my God. That flavor is crazy amazing. Perfection. Let's try a little bit of this, a uh, little bit of this burger here. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That's a camping meal and a half right here. We got so good. Well, as you guys see. It can be done. You can cook over a uh, 
propane fire pit. Quite that simply as well. It's uh, it was very convenient. Best part about it is uh, if I wanted to go down there and go swimming or go check on grizzly, something like that. It's uh, as simple as turning it off. You don't have to sit around and babysit it. You ain't gonna do none of that. So I'm gonna enjoy this and uh, get back to you guys in a second. All right, guys, well, I took that down. What would normally feed two people, what's enough for me, and I am stuffed. Last bit of beef here. Oh, you want that? Is it what you want? What do you say? Who? Oh. Who? Oh. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Huh? Come on. Good boy. Ha 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 ha. Good boy. So, yeah, guys. Absolutely fabulous meal here. And, uh,. Don't mind me. I'm gonna go ahead and do dishes. That's the best part. I have to admit, this is pretty nice. All right, guys, well, this little boy is a little bit tuckered out. Uh, being a night worker, we live on an opposite schedule that you guys do, so, uh, I'm going to go to bed a little bit early tonight and uh, pretend that I'm sleeping in. It's only about uh, 2 in the morning, so I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy and uh, put it away. I'm going to cool down a bit and climb into bed with old Grizzly Bear. So we'll see you guys in there. It's been a long day, guys, so I'm going to call it. And we'll see you guys back here on the morrow. Oh, good morning. It's about eight o'clock. And I got to bed about three. So, uh, five hours sleep. Then I gotta work tonight. This guy's got a potty. So, uh, all right i do say that uh i slept okay for the amount that i did sleep and then the uh the neighbors across the road here their uh rooster started going off and for some reason one of them sounds like he's got a fishing lure stuck in his neck and i could not sleep through that for some reason so all right guys so as you can see you can cook on these um whether it be from a uh a skillet or or a pan or you know a dutch oven swinging over it or whatnot definitely definitely able to cook off these guys so i'm gonna skedaddle to the house i really <laughs> He wants a stick. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna get to the house. I gotta be to work tonight. And uh, I've only got one night off this week, so I figured I'd come out here and do a little stealth boondocking and show you guys that you can cook on this thing. And if you're out here during these fire bands and fire season and everything, by all means, go get one of these. They're cheap. Um, and they work they work great so but for right now i just want to say thank you for joining me on this video um if you haven't yet go ahead and hit that little subscribe button down there in the corner how come every time i go to try to talk to you guys cars gotta start just coming just coming <laughs> i don't get it they're non-stop out here <laughs> i'm trying to talk to you guys 
and we got curves. Just, you know what? Forget it. Love you. We're out.